Hello everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com and I just wanted to show you real quick the Logitech Harmony Remote app for Android that can be used to control Google TV from your Android phone. So of course you start by launching the Harmony app with the icon. This is a free program and uh, I think it, it might be because of my security or my hidden SSID. When the app scans for another Logitech device on the network, uh, being my Logitech review box that we're looking for here, it doesn't find it. So I have to uh, manually put in the IP address of the review, which is easy enough to find, and I'll show you where that's at. When you're on the home screen, if you go to settings, network, and network information, I'm not going to go in there because I need to keep some of that stuff private, uh, you'll find the IP address right there. So when my phone says, it was unable to find that device. I'm going to say connection help. And then here I can just manually put in the IP address. It does remember it. I don't know how well you can see that on my screen here. It does remember the IP address. So every time I connect, I just need to let it scan once, uh, try to connect, and then I click on connection help. Then my TV gives me a code, 8692. So you'll see there's two sections here in the app. The first one is activities, and my option there is to watch Google TV. And then under devices, you can see my set-top box and my television. If I tap one of the devices, I'll find some controls for that device. Uh, obviously, I can enter numbers here, power on and off, just my television, mute, channel down. Uh, then there's like kind of a D-pad, but uh, with words instead of arrows. Uh, select, menu, input next, and you can go to a second screen. Uh, more controls for the television. Not real intuitive, but at least you can do everything from the uh, the app on your phone here. Also, the same thing with the uh, set-top box. Identical stuff. A couple different options, but, you know, same idea. So, the main thing we want to do here is watch Google TV. And you can set it up so that when you tap that button, it turns on both your cable t box and your television at the same time. So, before I get into uh, what the app does, let's take a look at the primary controls from the keyboard that we need to duplicate on the phone here. So we have a trackpad, and then we can click it with this. We need a D-pad with an OK button. Uh, we need some uh, play, stop, pause, forward, and back buttons. And, of course, the keyboard, all of the, uh, the letters that we use to type in uh, searches. So they did a pretty good job of duplicating each of these on the phone. And you just use these tabs at the top here. There's like our primary control buttons for when we're watching a movie. This works for DVR. Uh, it also works for Amazon Video On Demand and Netflix. Next one we have our D-pad with the OK button, page up and down. Here we have a trackpad. You can see my cursor moving around on the screen. And I believe I can click with tapping on this. Yeah, so that's nice. Uh, you can't do that on the keyboard. And then if you hit the keyboard button, it brings up your phone's keyboard. Uh, so whichever one you're already used to is the one that you're going to be using so uh, you don't have to have you know three different keyboards on your phone or something like that so down here we have quick shortcuts to uh, menu the guide if I hit this it's going to bring up my cable guide and if I go let's see here I can mute the TV there uh, what else should we do here oh before I get off the guide here's a good way to place to uh, demonstrate if you go into the d-pad and then select the little hand there you toggle between a regular d-pad with four arrows and an ok button and then up and down left and right controls for scrolling through lists such as in this guide right here so that's useful i'm going to tap the little search button down at the bottom here and i'm going to type cnn on my phone and cnn pops up right up there in the search on the tv so then i'm going to go ahead and I could do either a D-pad or the mouse, so let's do the D-pad because that's, whoops, I escaped out of there. Let's search again. I'll use the D-pad instead of the cursor because there are a lot of places where uh, D-pad makes more sense. Okay, CNN, uh, the Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer is on right now. Go ahead and tap that. If I had a DVR ho hooked up, I could hit record. No, it doesn't do anything for me here. Let's see what happens after I get the channel loaded. So here we are in uh, full HD. Well, not really. It's got the bars on the side, but if I tap record,
yeah, it's not even giving me an error or anything like that. But I can easily scroll up and down on box channels there. If I had gone back and selected my TV, I could be controlling the channels on my TV. And you can also just hit an off button here. Turns both my television and my cable box off. So there's a quick and basic overview of the Logitech Harmony remote application for your Android device. Um, it works well. I'm actually using it more often than I am the keyboard, although um, this is nice to have. It's, uh, it takes some getting used to. I'm not, I'm not uh, saying anything disparaging about it. it. It works just fine. It's just trying to remember where the buttons are and everything when I'm watching TV. I find it easier to use my cell phone, but uh, you know, to each his own. Oh, my God. Let's go.